Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel K. You might know me from my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krause. And today I am going to be telling you all about how I meal plan. So I get this question all the time. What do I do with the food after I do a grocery haul? I've showed you guys my fridge organization and things like that. I'm happy to do a food prep video if you guys want that. So make sure to comment below if you guys are interested in a food prepping video, which is a little bit different than meal prepping. Food prepping is more like cutting up veggies and like how you would prepare your fruit to be eaten and things like that. Meal prepping is like meal prepping entire meals ahead of time, which I may do eventually, but we just don't have the space to keep things like that. So anyways, today I'm going to be talking about all about how I meal plan and keep ourselves on track when we are going to the grocery store, how I come up with the meals that I come up with, all kinds of good things like that. So if you guys are interested in that kind of video, go ahead and smash that like button below, subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss another time that I post. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel, lots of motherhood and lifestyle kinds of things, and also grocery hauls every single Thursday. Make sure you comment below. Let me know if you're wanting that food prep video and just tell me how your day is going. How is your week going? Do you have kids that are going back to school? Let me know down below. I want to know how I can support you and how I can be your friend. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, I'm doing this outside because it's the best lighting. You can't really see what I'm doing inside. So I'm just gonna be walking you through exactly how I do this. I use just a plain notebook and pen or a pencil, whatever you like. If you have like a meal planning notebook or something that you wanna use, that's fine too. It's really just the concept, but I'm gonna show you how I outline it on just a blank sheet of paper as well. Cause I know a lot of you guys have access to just blank sheets of paper. I put all of my meals and my grocery shopping list on one paper because it's only one paper that I have to keep track of. The very first thing that I do is I write out meals at the top and then I leave myself like a little section of where I'm going to write my meals. So I'm going to show you what meals I've decided on this week and then I will tell you how I chose them. So I always start with the ones that I know we like and that we use every week. So that would be spaghetti with meat sauce. We always do tacos with shells. We always do taco bowls. We're kind of taco obsessed. We always do Mexican lasagna and we always do homemade pizza. Oh, and I forgot, we always do nachos too. So these are the things that I know my family likes and that my family will eat. That right there gives me one, two, three, four, five, six meals that I already know my family will eat. I typically meal plan for two weeks. So I like to have at least like 12 meals going on this sheet of paper. And that way we can account for leftovers in one of the nights and then maybe eating out another of the night or just doing another leftover night. I'm gonna go on over here and I chose chicken enchilada soup. For one of the nights. I did honey garlic chicken stir fry. I did chicken Southwest bowls. And then I did four in one creamy salsa chicken and chili mac. Some of these are new recipes and some of these are ones that I know <laughs> by heart how to make. They just may not be our regulars. For our regulars, obviously I don't need to put where I found the recipe, but if I am trying a new recipe like the chicken enchilada soup, I will write down where I found it. So I found this one on the Favor Eats app. So I'll just put Fave right there and I know what that means. The honey garlic stir fry I found on Favor Eats. Chicken Southwest bowls I found on Monfessionals. Four in one is a family recipe. Creamy salsa chicken is one that I just made up and I just guess with all the measurements. And then Chili Mac is from Damn Delicious. So I'll put DD. So right here you can see these are the meals that I always have on hand. I don't even need the recipe. Four in one is a family recipe. I'm happy to leave any of these below or make a video on how I make these. Let me know. Chili Mac, I'll leave that recipe down below. Honey garlic chicken, I'll leave that recipe down below. Chicken Southwest bowls, I'll leave that recipe down below. And the chicken enchilada, I'll leave those recipes down below for you guys. So this is how I set it up. And then I go in and I choose what meat I'm having with what, and I will write it in the corner. For spaghetti with meat sauce, we like it with turkey. So I will go ahead and put a little T right next to there. For tacos with shells, we will do turkey. Taco bowls, we can do beef, we can change it up. Mexican lasagna, I like it with turkey. Pizza, we need pepperoni. So I'll just write pep. Nachos can be with or without meat. Chicken enchiladas, even though it says chicken in it, just write it to the neck, to the side so that you know and you can see. I wrote C and then I need chicken for honey garlic chicken chicken for Southwest bowls. Four in one, we need beef. Creamy salsa chicken, I need a rotisserie chicken, so I'll write RC. And then chili mac, we can do, so this is where I added up on the side. I see that I have two beef, two, three turkey. I could really do turkey or beef because of the packages that it comes in at the store, and I will just do beef 
for chili mac. Now you guys know that we typically like to have some kind of vegan meals on here, but we're not really doing that right now because we are staying with my in-laws and they prefer meat. So we're just working around what everybody else likes and we try to keep our vegan meals during the day, like during breakfast and lunch time. If you need breakfast and lunch ideas, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krause. I share what we're eating all the time. As for how I pick these meals out, I really, I did two things. So one, I wrote down things that I know my family likes. Two, I went into the cupboard and looked and saw what we had. So like we had a jar of tomato soup. So I knew that we could do four in one with that. Four in one is just potatoes, beef, peas, and tomato soup. And that's all it is. And you mix it all together. It's actually really good. So that's how I did that. I would go into the cupboard and just see like, oh, what do we have one or two more things left of that we could really make a meal around? Diced tomatoes, for example. We had diced tomatoes and kidney beans on hand. So I knew we could make chili mac with that. So just simple things like that. Shopping your cupboard first to see what you've got. And then the other thing I did is I always like to choose a meal or two that we haven't tried before that I really want to try. That is where the chicken enchilada soup and the honey garlic chicken stir fry came in. All of the other recipes on here we have tried before. We know we like them, but trying one or two new things, you can always revert back to either a pizza night or if you don't like the meal, you always have other options because you have the rest of your meals written down. Also keep in mind the pantry I just showed you, you might be thinking you didn't need to go grocery shopping. We have already gone grocery shopping. So I'm just going kind of back in time and showing you how I meal planned for this week. After I figured out what I have on hand, I will separate my paper. Just kind of write grocery in big enough letters that I can tell that the paper is separated just like that. There's the word grocery. And then I know I like to shop at two places every two weeks. So I always like to go to Costco and I always like to go to a regular grocery store. A regular grocery store for me would be Trader Joe's or King Supers or Meyer or something along those lines. So the first one that I will write is Costco. And then I like to separate it out by departments that I know the store is in. So this helps. This is where knowing what your store looks like comes in handy. And this could also be used for grocery pickup online too, just writing out your list so that you don't forget anything. So I start with meat, then I do produce, and I'll add in dairy to that because in my Costco, the produce and the dairy are right next to each other. And then I will write out dry. So those are dry goods, pastas, things, beans like that. And then I will write out frozen. So in my meat, I know that I need turkey, I need beef, I need a rotisserie chicken, I need pepperoni, but I don't find that at Costco. So I will save that for the other side, which I put a different grocery place on the other side. And I also need regular chicken. What produce do I want? So I always add my greens on here. So we did asparagus broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and I look up here to make sure that I've covered everything that could be in my meals for veggies, but usually our meals don't have veggies in them. I put a veggie on the side or I just add it in. Um, and then I will say, choose one more green veggie so that we are getting in our veg. And maybe there's something that looks really good at the store. Then I know I need fruit. We need bananas, peaches, grapes, strawberries. And you guys know we go through a ton of produce in my house. So they, this may be a shorter list for you and that's okay. And then I go ahead and write out, choose one fruit if there's something that looks good. As for dairy, I know Derek needs the big cheese. So I'll write shredded cheese. In my dry section, I like our tortilla, our corn-free tortilla chips are at Costco. So I'll write those down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and write the rest of my list here. And then I'll come back and show you guys exactly what I put down. Here is the rest of my list here. You can see everything that I have written down in my sections of the store. We have tortilla chips, gluten-free pasta, but peanut butter, um, gluten-free tortillas, kidney beans, taco seasoning, green enchilada sauce, macadamia nut milk, gluten-free and vegan snacks, cashews, frozen blueberries, and cherries. This is my list for Costco. And then whatever I know that I cannot get at Costco, I will turn my page over and I will write it on the back of this. So I will tear this page out and take it grocery shopping with me and just keep it in my bag. The two days that I go grocery shopping, I usually split it into two days. That means I only have to keep track of one paper. So I will write my other grocery list on the back here. And I always carry a pen with me when I am grocery shopping so that I can cross things off. So that way, if I don't find something at Costco, I will write it on the back here with my other grocery list. So you can see my grocery list here. We've got the meat, the produce, the dry, and the frozen. I make sure to include anything that we might need for our lunches. So like the chicken nuggets, the waffles are for Logan's breakfast. Ice cream is Derek's little treat that he wants. Make sure to add in any treats or anything that 
you want like that. I want a super detailed grocery list. So that is why I have every single thing written down, breakfast, lunches, and this is why I love a regular notebook. I just rip it out and I've got my meals here so that if I'm ever on the grocery side, I've done this multiple times before when I used to make it into two separate pages, I would be like, why did I need honey? Do I really need honey? Oh, I'll skip it. And then I get home and I realized I had honey garlic chicken on the recipe. Of course I needed honey. So I find it helpful to put it all in one page and then I just fold it up and I throw it into my purse. It's nothing crazy. It's super easy. And this is how I meal plan. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button below. Subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss another time that I post. Comment down below if you guys want that food prep video. Let me know. I am happy to do it. I may have to wait until I get home, but I'm doing a bunch of day in the lives for you guys right now in grocery hauls. So I hope you're enjoying those. Yeah, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys and you can just see exactly how I meal plan. All right, you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.